Hi, I'm Rich Tannis. And I'm Rod Tannis. And we're the RC Twins. Yes, we are. And we're going to do another video, I guess. And you know, it'd be awesome if you like this video, hit that like button right down there. Yeah, yeah. And the subscribe uh, button is very important to us. And then the yeah. uh, the bell, the bell would be important. And leave thing. a comment, you know, all and, over the place. And then go ahead and share it. Those of you that are on all those other platforms, please share it out there. Facebook, everything else. Reddit. We got to get to a thousand subscribers, and that's our goal. That's it. Thank you. I forgot to put the bell on here. But you said it. I did. All right, some of the finer points of uh, making the electrical connections on your ESC. Just some notes. On the motor side, okay, the three lead side, and here's the two lead side, right? So this is the battery side. This is the motor side. Very important note here. You do not really want to change the length of this wire much. I mean, a little would be okay, maybe a, an inch or so. But don't go changing the distance from the ESC to the end here and then from the motor, uh, the leads of, of the motor themselves right here. Don't change those and make them great big long leads because that's where all of the frequency and the timing and all of that occurs. So you want to desolder these pieces on the end, which we're going to do here in just a minute. Uh, being careful not to just cut them because sometimes the wire that comes on these things is not that easy to solder. So if you just desolder the end here, that leaves solder already uh, in the wire itself. It's leaded already in there and so it makes soldering this wire onto another connector simple as far as the battery side of it you can make these leads as long as you care to make them uh, on the clipper up there we've got uh, those some of those leads are six feet long so um, and they go all the way up to that motor and so on so not an issue uh, so what you're going to end up with is the ESC is going to be close to the motor usually up in the wind someplace and then uh, you can run the leads back to wherever the batteries need to go. All right, so uh, you see it's got connectors came on this. A lot of times connectors come with the motor. Uh, with these Turnergy motors, not so much. Uh, it is an option. Um, you, can, you can buy that separately right while you're buying the motor. Um, I never do because I got all kinds of connectors around. But you may want to do that when you buy the motor. Um, they've got 4 millimeter and 6 millimeter uh, connector leads. So I'm going to take and remove this insulation off of here and desolder these couplings off of here and that will leave me with wires that look more like that uh, that are pre-leaded. You can see this is, this is not coming off or fraying because somebody went through and pre-leaded those wires for us. Rather nice thing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that then. Um, take and go through and remove that off of there. There's that. Uh, Insulation. And you want to be careful not to cut way too deep because um, you don't need to cut the other insulation off the wire. We just want to re solder something else back on there. So um, just go through and remove them off of there. Now, this is a handy little thing I use right here. Got to clear out, make sure there's nothing flammable right here. Just a fast way to get rid of them. Let them fall on the ground. Yeah, I just go on the floor and snap over. There they are. All right. So all silicone on that lead doesn't hurt it a bit. And uh, away we go. So torch, handy thing to have around uh, for just that occasion. I just take a. Uh, I'll take something and wipe this char off of here a minute. Now we've spent years in the shop, you know, so that we're astute with how to handle tools and so on like that. So you may want to wear gloves for some of these procedures uh, if, you're, uh, if you don't have quite as much experience. Not a bad idea. Um, so you can see right here I'm testing. 
you want to have that make sure that fits on there otherwise you know you get to go trying to solder it in you don't want to try heating this up and then hoping that will melt and go in there it just makes a mess right so important i've got this little tool that i went and got a little tool magically appears out of nowhere i just go around each one of these I like the light on that Dremel there, it <laughs> helps you see what's going on there. It does, really. Alright, so let's just double check -y. Yep, that's going on. That's going on. That's going on. Alright, so we're going to put the, um, on, in this case, we're putting pins and barrels on and we're just making, using them to connect the ESC to the motor. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't really matter which side we do which, just... Yep. <laughs> and to show some soldering technique here that may help you do it more right. efficiently. Exactly. So, I'm going to take, I have these handy vices that Rod got me at Harbor Freight. Um, and they have like this little tiny V right right there on that one jaw. And, um, and that is so handy for this uh, type of application. Some connectors will be cut away half of it. You can tip these vices all around so that that's all laying there like a trough. It's really quite handy. All right. So we want to just get a hold of them, but we don't want to squish them. Right. As the, uh, the fingers, you can see your little fingers on here. And if you go clamping right down there in the vise, you will, you, you will just smush that. Okay. So you just kind of have to just grip it enough. We're just soldering it after all. Right. So I'm going to take this soldering gun. And um, I'm going to clean it off here in a minute first. How big a one is that? Is that a... This is a, a big one. This is a 300-200, a which I found because we do big connectors, man. I mean, we're we've, some of the connectors are 8-millimeter connectors and so on. And you just simply got to have enough power. Um, yeah, otherwise you're there all day. Yeah, know? right, yeah. And you don't get a good joint. You know, it has to be able to heat that whole great big lug up and everything so i'm going to clean this this off to kind of prepare for this i had a whole bunch of junk all over it doing something else so that's it now that's that's cleaned off so kind of a little trick here when you uh start this up you don't want to put too much solder inside that it overflows like mad but you got to have enough so it gets up around the wire so it's kind of a little bit of a guessing game when it comes to that but this is what we're going to end up doing we're going to end up sticking this right in here Right up to the insulation like that. Okay. So I'm going to take and put this on here. Here's the trick right here. Okay. I'm putting this on. I don't have to push that hard. I'm starting to heat it a little bit. And you see I'm putting a little solder. I'm going to melt it right on that little point so that there's a solder joint connection between the iron and the barrel. And that magnifies that surface area by a hundred times. So oh, yeah. the heat so, builds up very quickly. So you immediately get power there. You can start feeding in right straight across from the iron. Um, about, gonna, yeah, it's about half full there. Yeah, I'm going to put just, just a tick more in there. It's got to get down to it. That'd be about right. Yep, while she's stewing. So... Now here's the important part. Okay, stick this in slowly. So you don't pay splash attention. it. Yeah. Get right down there. Now I'm going to wait a little bit because I want the solder to melt the solder on the end of the wire and get really impregnated in right. that multi-braid wire. And you can you can feel um, the wire starting to get warm in between my fingers. Now I'm just going to take the uh, soldering iron away. I'm going to let this cool down a while. I can see that it start to solidify on the outside. Looks good. That's going to be a beautiful joint. And that's connected. Okay. That's that's really all there is to it right there. So um, we're going to take and uh, do this to all three. So I'll just uh, put the other one in here and I've got a third one right there. So we'll take and uh, get those soldered on there a minute. Yeah. So again, adding the solder in between that 
that fitting in you know the point of the solder gun. Yep, minute amount. You don't yep. need to slobber king it all over the place. But now but, the soldering iron is hot. But it just magnifies that surface. There it is now. Rather than boom, just a point. hot right away inside yep. like that. In seconds see? instead of you know several right. minutes. So I'm starting to melt all of that right in there, straight across from it. Yeah, so you can see it's about oh, half full or so. Yeah, it's about three quarter full really from the way it looks. Yeah, yeah it's about half. Okay. It's starting to melt that. I can feel it there. It's yep, melting. Yeah, right yeah, down beautiful. There. Yeah, it came out the top a little bit, you know, around it. And then we'll hold it right in that position. It's really important. Nice and straight. Yeah, it's a just little... be a little bit patient because the pin carries a little bit more girth and then just gently tug on it. Yep, I got it. All right, and there's just one more to do. You can see, really, this is not a big time-consuming thing. It um, would be if you didn't know that trick, though, because you It can... is. You'll stand there for seemingly days, yep. and then everything gets hot but what you want. Um, yep. So, same thing, just going to put a tiny little drop. Right in between. Right there. So you go in there. And and it just takes a few and seconds. Right and there. Now it's hot. That wall is hot right away. And since I'm melting it, that solder is going to go down to the bottom. And I'm going to keep darting it in there. You can see about this. It's just a small little bitty wire of solder. And um, keep it right on there. It's melting right in there. I'll just wait just a little bit longer. I just want to really, really make sure that it's all melted, congealed, and fused yep. together. That's if it's not, it'll pull out if it gets hot. Right. You know? Okay, it's on there. All right, so another important part here. There we are, uh, all three of them. Just kind of get a look that, you know, there's no burrs sticking out, points sticking out, they all look pretty flat, okay? Otherwise we want to sand them off a little bit because we don't need things pointing through our insulation that we're going to put on. So here's the other important part, right? <clears throat> it's really important that you get things covered up. Now the pin itself has to stay out there, right? But we want to cover about that much, right? So this covers the wire and the part that won't be in the connector. So um, that'd be this fat part right here. So we're gonna take and uh, put these three guys on here. That shrink tube there. Yep, heat shrink tube. So it's gonna be it's heat sensitive. We're gonna take and put a heat gun on it here in just a minute. So this is down here just about the shoulder. You'd rather have it stick past the shoulder just a touch than be less, right? You can trim it back always. And uh, so right there, that looks pretty good. So we're going to take a heat gun. This is a, you know, yep. one out of... Uh, you can do it with a torch rate. too, but you know, the heat gun, it works very nice if you want to work with one of those. It does. So uh, it's quick. You got better control. You don't get burnt. Yep, you don't have to buy an expensive one either. And it uh, nope. does not work very well with the air dryer. It does not quite get hot enough. No, nope. no, nope. it won't be hot enough. So don't bother trying this that. This is substantially hotter. In fact, uh, you can kind of look, uh, look in the end of this thing. You know, it's hot. Yeah. So uh, and there it is. Okay. So there's our, our finished product on the electronic speed control. You can see those things just beautifully sticking out the end. Yep. When we get the other side done, the barrel is going to slip right on there. And it's going to be all insulation covering everything. So now we'll go ahead and we'll look at the motor, right? So big heavy duty leads, all right? So uh, here again, you don't want to cut these off or anything because sometimes the wire that comes on these things is not the easiest to get solder to stick to. Um, if you do, you got to clean it all and kind of run a wire brush through it and everything because it can have car uh, varnish or other impurities on it once you cut past this. So this is why they give you a pre-soldered tip on here, which is really nice of them to do. So I'm gonna take and check. Yep, all three of them are good that way. So um, now we can take and uh, put our barrels 
you know, uh, in here. And again, you could put the pins on the motor or the pins on, that doesn't matter. Um, I, uh, I just uh, did it this way. So uh, these you can put in a little bit more snug because you're not going to smoosh them so much. And um, uh, on the, um, the battery side, you have to be a little bit more careful about getting solder on the outside. So then you have to be careful to brush the outside of that connector right away. But because there's nothing going around, there's nothing, this piece doesn't go around there or anything. These are just out in midair connectors. We don't need to be so uh, careful about the outside of the barrel. So, uh, which is nice. So we're going to take and uh, get this going. And, uh, here again, get this thing flattened out on there pretty nicely. Okay, it's going. And we'll stick the motor on there. stuck there that is all right so later we'll put shrink tube over that once all of them are on so I'm just going to kind of bend that one out of the way so I have just kind of one sticking down there again so what solder is that right there this um, is just the stuff I got out of Lowe's um, uh, 6040 um, rosin core high grade um, they okay. call it yeah um, I got it. mini uh, mini atronics, yeah. So uh, I electrical agree. solder, that's all there is to it. Yeah. Um, and it seems to work really really well for us. We've uh, used it for years now, and um, and soldered I don't know hundreds of connections. So there it is. There's the little fuse. Feeding the solder into the hole. There it is. And that's right down to the bottom. Here again, you know, don't be too quick. It'll seem like it fuses it good. But you want that solder on that wire to be melting in with the solder inside the barrel that you put there. Alright, just one more to go down. We'll prep this one up. I already got some solder on the end of the gun, so it should be good. Feed her in there nice. It seems like a lot of solder going in there, but it's a little bitty solder wire. A little bit did run out, but that's okay. Yeah, bubbling stuff, and I can kind of feel that end of that wire crunching down a little bit because it's thawing out. And we'll do it like that. I'm going to have a little extra solder on this one because I did kind of overfill that. And so here's what we do for that. Take this little guy, Remo Micro. I used to try and heat this up and wire brush it and everything else. And you just end up defusing it. And that's just too easy. So uh, so there we are. Already cold. So 
Okay, here's the other port important part right here. We're going to take and uh, get these insulations on there. And we'll just put them right over top of the other motor insulation that's already there. And Because um, you don't want them touching. That's bad. You know, you don't really want any part of this exposed because, you know, this is a... This is not like tiny little voltage either, you know, you're going to run... Well, you could weld with it. Well, yeah, so that could give you quite a poke. Um, so, um, and, it, and it really it makes pretty pictures, you know, in the sky when you uh, uh, get things touching together, and that's generally bad. Yeah, it makes it look like you're being shot down and it's really, you get yeah. a trail of black smoke behind yeah, you. That's what it does, yeah. <laughs> there, down we go. In, yeah. So there that is. That is done. So, now that's going over the end there a little bit. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. You can see it's over the end here a little bit. That is okay. Yep. So, watch what we're going to do. We're going to take and when we connect these together, again, um, you're going to be testing this to check rotation and all that kind of thing. I just kind of did something that was a little bit of a no-no. I laid it down in here, and there might be metal and things like that on there, and that's that's really not acceptable. So I have to really make sure I go around this whole thing because, after all, it's all magnets all the way around here, right? So if you're working on something and you lose screws and washers and you don't know where they went, look on the motor because they'll be all around the motor or in they it. Maybe in it. So you um, really, really want to make sure that you're looking things over, that there's there's nothing in it or on it. Um, people wreck things because they aren't careful about their screws and washers near a, a motor like this. So, all right, so we're gonna put these together and, uh, and you'll see that shrink tube just yields and uh, goes away and makes a nice tight joint when it's all done. Yep. That's how you want it to look. Right and if there. you want to, after you're done, you can slide shrink tube over the whole mess and fuse That's it together right. so they won't come apart. That's right. When you're all finished, you can do that. Once you set rotation, you can go ahead and slide it up there and uh, and then nothing can come apart. We had that happen on one uh, one plane and uh, actually caused a crash because we, we didn't put shrink over the whole dumb works. Um, because uh, something made it pull apart, and, uh, uh, and that was the end of that. So there it is. Excellent. Connections made, and then now later on, I can put longer leads on to lead back to a battery box or or whatever. I'm not even sure what airplane this is going to go into. Hmm. So there it is. Everything you needed to know, and you didn't even know what you needed to know, but now you know. Maybe you were afraid to ask. That's the one. RC twins. All done. All through.